Hello, and welcome back to my channel. A short video this week looking at a new technique I've recently discovered uh, which is helping me to remove or repair scratches in film negatives that I've digitised. This technique allows me now to remove scratches quite successfully in Photoshop. My version that I'm going to be using is the last standalone version of Photoshop, Photoshop CS6. So if I move on to the screen. So as you can see from this image, I recently came across some particularly challenging images from a recent developed role of lab processed film, uh, which had multiple scratches across the entire frame and every negative in the same kind of place. So I knew that it wasn't something that I'd kind of introduced. And I've never seen scratches on any of my previous uh, film negatives, even ones from the same camera, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't a camera fault. And also the roll of film I used, which was Ilford Delta Professional 400, was also a new film for a change for me, so it wasn't an expired or an old film, it was still in date, so I'm pretty confident that it was a, a lab issue rather than a, an equipment or a film issue. So obviously when I started trying to remove these scratches, I wasn't having any luck with any of my normal combination tools that I use, including the Content Aware Fill Tool, Spot Healing Brush, and the Clone Stamp Tool, which I use to remove dust, spots, and other blemishes that are present on negatives when I, when I digitize them. Obviously, you try to remove as much as you can when you're scanning the negatives by blowing air and trying to do it in a clean environment, but invariably, there's always gonna be some kind of blemish and present on the negative. So my existing tools, the repairs for me, they didn't look natural enough and they didn't really blend well into the image and they just stood out. So ideally you want to make the, the repairs kind of blend in so that your eye doesn't get drawn to them. So yeah, like I said, perhaps this highlights the difficulties with film and it's the grain present in the film that confuses the Photoshop algorithms when trying to blend the use of these tools to produce a pleasing image. So in search of a better way of doing things, a new technique, I took to YouTube and Google and tried to see whether anyone else was using a different kind of method. So I finally found a great video by someone on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description. It showed a technique which used Photoshop's patch tool. This tool sits within the spot healing tool selection in Photoshop. So I gave that a go and I was amazed at how easily I could achieve the best results that I've managed to come up with so far. So let's have a look at a couple of images and you'll be able to see from that my difficulties with these particular images and I'll try and use the existing tools that I mentioned that I used to try and clean it up and then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll show you the use of the patch tool and you can see how well that, that works to, to clean up the images. I still like using the Content Aware Fill tool and the other spot healing tools because as you'll see when I clean up these images, they still do work in some situations. I just haven't found them to be that great for the straight, consistent scratches that I've got on some of my images. Right, so this first image um, of my cat that I took, um, I haven't converted this image yet, but you can clearly see, if I zoom in, that these, these scratches right across the frame. So it's highly frustrating. And the same with the second image, uh, one of me. So not quite as obvious as the scratches in the picture of my cat, but you can still see them right through the image here. And if I just go ahead and convert this one to a positive image, you'll see that the results come up quite clear. So I've now gone into the positive image of James and I really like this picture and it's a real shame of the scratches. It's probably the worst one for me in terms of the way the scratches cut across the actual subject rather than kind of in the sky. So if I go across to the one of me, you can see only one of the scratches goes across my head so I can generally hide that quite well in the hair, the repair, and you can't see it so much. And again, the one in the sky, they're a little bit easier to kind of repair. But the one of James, 
it's going to take a bit of work, especially around the whiskers. But I'll show you um, now the difficulties I've been, been having. So obviously with little hairs like this, you can still quite happily select content aware fill tool and lasso around the blemish. And then I do shift and F5 and click OK. And that fills that in and that generally looks not too bad. Even even now to now you can you can see it's a kind of blurred effect rather than a that well blended. So I'm gonna undo that in a minute. And what I'll use is the patch tool. So it's this tool here, like I said, it's under the, where the spot healing brush tool sits. You just click and hold and go down to the patch tool. So you can use the lasso or you can use any of the other kind of selection tools to select your area, then select the patch tool. And then what you tend to do is just drag it again to an area that you kind of want the software to select pixels from and then release the, the, the figure and then it'll try and do its best. So obviously it's having a bit of trouble here because it kind of intersects with James's hair. So if I go down again a minute, try another area. So it's generally working well apart from his area here. So I might just see what the content and where I feel to does for this bit. And there we go, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, that bit. So again, obviously, there's a scratch here. So again, I'm going to use the lasso tool. Yeah, yeah. See, that's pretty good. If I tried, if I tried content and wear fill on that, I don't think it looks quite as good. It's, you can easily see the, the blurred kind of effect. So I'll go back to my patch tool, and I think that's that to me looks a lot more natural. Right. So anyway, let's concentrate on the actual problematic area right through the, the subject. So I still find it best to, to break it up a little bit rather than try to do too much. And I generally use the polygonal lasso tool to make my selection. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. You can use it for smaller blemishes as well, like so. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Yeah, so you can start to see now where where the tool really excels. Um, and like I said, I still I still will use the other tools uh, to obviously for speed and ease, just to get rid of kind of any other kind of blemishes that I don't want in the image, like these little specks of dust. And then, like I showed as well, I still use the Content Aware Fill tool as probably my my primary tool for removing blemishes just because you know, the, the blending does generally do a good job but just doesn't seem to be that good for, for scratch removal. So as you can see zooming out now, that's done a good job so far of removing that kind of scratch. What I'll do now is I'll, I'll finish this and I'll skip through it quite quick so you can see the, the finished result um, compared to the, the original. and. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll be it, I think.
So there's the final image that I'm happy with, with the scratches removed. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.